Well, as soon as we were out there last week, people just started reaching out to us after our pothole patrol. We got a ton of emails to getting around at WXYZ.com, so we wanted to follow up. I couldn't believe it. I hit the pothole and it was like just huge. Taking her husband to the airport turned out to be a treacherous journey for Sue Hillebrand. On the way to drop him off, she got a flat tire on Eureka near I-275. While picking him up, she got another flat, this time on I-275. And we had to take the car in to the dealership again and I you know, said, I need another tire. <laughs> so two tires in two days. She reached out to us for answers, emailing getting around at WXYZ.com. I uh, got on my phone and I usually don't do that, but I thought, what the heck, I'm going to email. Eureka Road and I-275, we've had multiple crews uh, been out there patching last week and this week. Steve Shale with the Wayne County Roads Department says roads near the airport are taking priority. Crews have been upping the ante, working 10 hours a day, six days a week to keep up, also bringing in contractors for help. Bringing three uh, contractors aboard uh, along with our DPS staff has helped tremendously. Brandy Williams took a picture of her TV to later email us about a pothole she hid on I-94 near Gratiot in Detroit. Saw a pothole in the right lane but couldn't swerve over to the left because I would have hit the car. So end up hitting it, flattened one tire, damaged another tire, so I had to replace two tires. She lives off of Hayes between 17 and 19 mile in Macomb County. She emailed us this video. That drive is horrible. There are potholes literally within a foot of each other. Macomb County says over the weekend they did do some patchwork along Hayes and along other roads. We worked 11 hours on Saturday, Nine hours on Sunday, we had, you know, 60, 60 people working on Saturday, 80 people working on Sunday. They also brought in contractors to lend a helping hand. Hayes from M59 to 18 Mile will see construction this year to fix the bumpy ride. Same goes for Metro Parkway between Ryan and DeQuinder. But until the freeze-thaw cycle is over, drivers will have to wait for permanent fixes. If we get another cycle of snow and rain and warm temps, most of the pads that we put in those holes could blow out again. And we're going to be right back where we started. Now, once the freeze thaw cycle stops, works can be used to use a hot patch, which is a more permanent fix compared to cold patch. In the meantime, people are just going to have to drive carefully because we are not out of the woods just yet. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. until that freeze thaw cycle stops, there's really not much other than laying down that cold patch, which is just going to come up again. Right. But, you know, it, it's better than something. Yeah. Uh, better than nothing, rather. Yeah. You know, so, so we'll take it.